Hey, welcome back. I thought I'd give you a little shop tour this time. I've been meaning to do this for a while. The, the shop's fairly clean, so I think it's time to take you around and just show you uh, my small shop and what I, how I have it set up. Okay, so as you've seen in a lot of my videos, my basement's in my shop. I converted this into a shop about uh, a year ago and have been gathering tools ever since. Over here where you see the wood rack, I built that wall when I built the shop. Over here I have the drill press. This is from the 60s. This is a Craftsman. It was pretty rusty when I got it. Now it's in a lot better shape. I just cleaned it up, but it, it works phenomenally. I had to work on the motor a little bit to get that running smoothly. The capacitor was not really, the starting capacitor really wasn't working. Cleaned up the contacts and now that's working fine. But I think I paid $75 for this, which was a steel. Um, it is made of cast iron, really heavy well built. A lot of my tools up at uh, flea markets and Craigslist finds. Uh, for example, there's a really cool magnifying light I got from a flea market and that's really nice to use. Gives you a lot of extra light over in this corner here and for doing precise work near the, the vise. I just have a machinist vise right here on this workbench. These two workbenches here I built um, probably about 10 years ago just from some simple plans I found online, maybe just two by four construction with screws. They've held up real nicely for some workbenches. Decided to put my chop saw, which I got when I built a table for my uh, office upstairs. It had some strange angles on it, so I got this compound sliding miter saw from Harbor Freight, and then I built a box around it so that I could do some better dust collection. So in there, I have, just to, just to hold up this, to block up the hole, I just have an old smart balance container and that blocks up the dust collection port. Just keep that in there, that's simple and that works. And I turn that on and off when I'm using the saw. And for my dust collection system, that runs underneath this workbench. And I have a uh, PVC pipe that goes along the wall, up the corner, and then around back to the dust collector. I have the, the two stage dust collector where you have the chips going into the trash can first and then it comes up into the impeller and then goes into the bag on this side. So you can see after I would say six months that's all I have at the bottom of the bag and then I have one of those wind filters which was a great buy and it really makes the dust collector flow and have a way more suction with that wind filter. At some point I'd like to do a, a tool wall or something but this is fine for now it works anytime I can if I see these at a flea market I try to pick up these I think I picked up this entire one right here for three dollars and it was just full of all kinds of screws and nuts and bolts washers just put a shelf up there at the top put my speakers on I just have that wired down here so I can hook up my phone or my iPod and I, I do like to use power strips to turn things on and off. This is actually how I turn my lights in the shop on and off. I have a clamp rack over here that I built a while ago. And then I did a video on how I did this seat clamp rack that kind of has like a fender strat neck headstock look to it just for some style. Over here is the uh, bandsaw. This is from around 69 or 70. Pick that up for 75 bucks again, I think. The biggest improvement I made was adding this melamine shelf right here and that that gave it a lot more mass and cut down on those vibrations so it runs really smoothly now these are not uh, known as as the greatest bandsaws it's a 12 inch bandsaw it has an aluminum frame inside it's not cast iron so it's not as strong as a cast iron saw but it does have a cast iron top this runs really nicely i like having the light that's built into it right here that's kind of nice not too organized on this side of the shop a lot of scrap pieces of wood. I gotta do a better job of organizing this side when I can. My lathe, you can see it's a nine inch old craftsman lathe. I've done a little bit on that. Me been meaning to do some more turning uh, coming up here in the winter. The wood rack comes from a design I first saw by Mark Spagnola and then also saw a video by Homesteadonomics and he did a video on this and I kind of followed his idea and it works great. Really simple to use. They use scrap plywood, use some 2x4s, and that was a great way to get the, through this wood a little bit more organized. And I try to pick up any kind of scrap wood I can when I see it by the side of the road. I pick up um, a lot of barn wood here and there. 
here's some two giant shelves I found. Actually, I have three of them. One was falling apart. But these are made of oak on the side. Came from a big, big old dresser. And so I'm going to do something with these. But I can't, uh, I can't stand seeing that stuff out for the trash when I know that it has some good wood in it, even if I cut it apart and use it for something else. So I'm kind of a hoarder of wood, I guess. I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't say I have a problem yet, but you can kind of see that uh, I have a lot of stuff here. Down at the bottom, this is not ideal right here, but this is going to be, this is all treated wood. That's going to be for two Adirondack chairs I'm going to build coming up here in a few weeks when I have some time. There's the old joiner. This is a 1947 Delta that I picked up from Craigslist and, and fixed that up. You can check out the video where I fixed that one up and got it running. Over here on this table, you can see I have the scroll saw and one of these belt sanders. This belt sander is great for the money. I'd highly recommend it if you don't have one. It runs great. It doesn't bog down. The scroll saw is an AMT, which used to be made in Taiwan, and it was at a Royers Ford PA, which is not far from me. I'm around the Reading area up here in Pennsylvania. And uh, they used to, I guess, import these from Taiwan. So they're well built. It has a cast iron top on it. I think I paid $45 for that. The table saw here, did a video on that a while ago, but the table saw is a 1950s Craftsman, and it's a really well-built table. I actually got these extension wings on eBay and I paid a little bit of money for those, but they're nice to have and they give it a lot of extra room on the sides. I made a zero clearance insert for it out of some maple. That helps, that makes it nice. This is only a nine inch saw. I have an eight and a quarter inch blade on it right now. But I really like this table saw. It's for the, the size and the money. I think I paid $100 for it. It works really well. I built this box here for the switch. And this was the original cabinet on the bottom which you can open it up and have a plastic bin in there to collect the dust. It does collect the dust pretty well. I don't have a, a port to hook up the dust collector because I don't really need it. Also for the table saw, what I decided to do is build this outfeed table, this small outfeed table that I could I could bring and, and hook it up to the, the back of back it up to the back of my table here to catch up the pieces so they wouldn't fall over and protect the motor. Over here I have two old craftsmen uh, Blockhead grinders, I think they're called, that people refer to them online, and they are really nice. This one has the original stand right here, and this one is a third horsepower, and then this one's a quarter horsepower, and I think I got this one for, I don't know, 18 bucks or something like that. It needs a little work. I'm working on the switch on that one, but this one runs really nice and smooth. Hey, well, thanks for taking a tour with me around the shop. It was fun to show you what I have down here and what I've, what I've built up over the past year or so. I'm off to do a lot more, it's a Saturday, so I have a lot more projects to do. Um, and I'll be filming some of that stuff. I'm gonna go do the deck. I have to uh, power wash the deck. I'm gonna stain the deck. I built the deck two summers ago, and I'm gonna do a video on that and what that looks like. And also I gotta finish the bathroom. I've been working on the master bathroom. I have to finish the closet and finish the ceiling. So I'm gonna about to cut up more of those boards for that fixer upper style shiplap look. I'm going to be working on that. So I've got a lot of a lot of projects on my plate. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already so you don't miss any of the future projects. And as always, I appreciate you watching and take care.